Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I'm going to pull a full oracle card spread over here on YouTube. There's also an extended video. The link is in the description box below where I'll pull a full tarot card spread to articulate or extrapolate on the oracle card reading and draw some romantic tarot for you as well. So um, there's also my romantic tarot reading that I put out predictions for next weekend. So you might want to watch that as well. Let's get right into this Pisces. Piscean energy. Remember, this is for sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, but anywhere Pisces energy influences your natal chart, you could apply these energies for the next seven days. So energies for Pisces. Whenever you, whenever you find this reading, it is the perfect time for you. So these are energies for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces energy, Pisces, 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 Pisces energy, 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 Pisces energy. Crowning your reading, first card out, bring a gentle touch. This is love. This is, mm, um, the potential for things to get started, the potential for things to move forward. This is to potential, think of Bambi. Like think of this is the new, you know? There was the old and now this is the new. And this is the new about to spring. It's about to spring forward. This is a, There's a little bit of springtime here in the winter, especially if you're in the Northeast. There's a little bit of hope, hope. Think hope, Pisces. There's a sense of the future is going to be actually pretty bright. Over the next seven days, something is going to stir in your heart that you will know that whatever was dead is not dead anymore. Um, there is um, potential for this new thing to grow and develop and mature. This could be also speaking about children developing and growing and maturing. But this is 100% um, you getting a new lease on life. Mm -hmm. A new love in your life. Uh, we also got a sense of that coming through a lot, I think, last week as well. So there is something that is just beginning. It's a new age. I think you're looking to learn from the past. You're looking to understand it but you're also unaffected by it because you know that it has nothing to do with you anymore. I know it's hard as water signs to let go of the past because it's so much about how we identify ourselves, we hold on. But essentially Pisceans, I can promise you that the past has no power over you anymore. You're the brand new. You want to look and you want to learn, you're looking to learn. You're looking to build yourself off of some sort of cornerstones from the past, but they don't have they don't have power over you anymore. This is literally you finally almost being no, it's not. It's better than being born because there's essentially. This is the time, this is the moment where you've already been born. You went through birth. You went through that traumatic experience that is the, transcend, the, the transition. This is not about that anymore. This, is, this isn't about you being fresh and, sh and new and, 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 and not being able to stand up and hardly have your eyes open, being scared and being vulnerable. No, you're new. This is your time. The miracles are endless. You could be dealing with a Taurus, which is a lovely energy for you to deal with. Secure and stable, sometimes methodical. Sometimes they seem a little bit frumpy, maybe a bit boring, but the truth is there's so much abundance here. Abundance to support you, to grow with you, to help you develop, to help you mature, to help you grow, to, to support you along your journey, uh, resources that you'll need. Um, so this isn't necessarily just relationships, but this is resources coming to you. You're going to have everything that you need for what lies ahead. And what lies ahead is actually something extremely beautiful. This is all hope. This is all new. 
This is like, there's an essence here. There's a sense of fated and destiny. Like, like, um, yeah, something from the ether coming down and becoming a reality. So it could very well be your dreams coming to life. Let spirit be your guide. This is trusting the divine and also having a raw and very natural attachment to a bird's eye view. This is seeing, it's not necessarily seeing into the future, it's seeing into the distance. It's not necessarily just basically being trapped in like this tunnel vision and with what's right in front of you. It's actually at this point in your life, having the way and the skies cleared for you to be able to see in the distance. There's more space. In other words, you have more space. You have more space in your brain. And that tells me that something has cleared up for you. An emotional disturbance, something that was getting in your way, something that was clouding your brain or clouding your judgment, whatever was interfering of things being clear has cleared up for you. Dream the world into being. You're putting the past behind you. No more. You're putting it to rest. Do you see the skeleton behind him? He's ignoring him. It's got, once again, has no power over him anymore. This is all about looking into the future. And all about being something else. You're not what you used to be. There's no going back because there's nothing to go back to. And as hard as that once was for you, you now see the freedom in it. Oh, that's powerful. Ooh. Now is a lucky time turned upside down. It doesn't mean that the luck, there's no abundance here. It just means that A, be conservative with your resources because the resources are coming in, but be conservative with them. And once again, take things slow. Don't rush by this. This is not something you're going to want to rush by anyway. But don't rush by it. And it also means very being hesitant. There's a sense of hesitation here when it comes to the future. Maybe because of the past. But it doesn't have any tie over you anymore. It doesn't have any hold over you anymore. There's a sense of letting it, letting it, letting it be. Letting it rest. Letting it die. This could have been talking about some sort of um, miscarriage where a child wasn't born. But overall, that would have been in the past, right? And this it would be the week where you can actually move on from it. The disappointment, the hurt, the heartbreak. What was keeping you stagnant or afraid or scared or hesitant? Wherever had, whatever had made you feel broken has now left you. And instead of seeing or sort of seeing only what had happened back then, it's gone. It's over with. I definitely want to clarify, though, this rabbit spirit energy with tarot. I definitely want to clear, uh, clarify. Time to collaborate. Hmm. Hmm. Go slow. Because there's a definite energy here of meeting somebody. New beginning, number one. It's a new start. And it's ironic, right? Collaboration is one. Two becoming one. Something, somebody you could build something with. Potential for um, the future. But don't rush. Aquarius got that same energy too. Got that same warning. Don't rush. I, the only thing is, you're not going to want to. That's the thing, Pisces. That's the big difference is you're not going to want to. There's abundance coming in. But you actually, this week, you're just going to be like, I... 
I just want to like live in this moment for a second because it may never come again where I'm this fresh and I'm this new and I'm this innocent to this kind of beauty happening to me. So let me just take a second and pause because I don't want to rush through this. Sometimes life stings. Working through the hardships, working through the struggle, being criticized. I think overcoming pain, overcoming the past. Transformation is beautiful. Um, flipped upside down. It's so interesting. I've never seen this before when it's in reverse, but are you going south, flying south? Are you going somewhere, traveling somewhere that is south of where you are now? That's really interesting. Somebody somewhere tropical where there would be a lot of mosquitoes. Because for you, I just feel like there's going to be travel here. Maybe someone down under, maybe you're going all the way to Australia, somewhere where it's going to be warmer. There's going to be a lot of mosquitoes. That sounds so silly and so funny, but I, I honestly feel like you're getting work there. And this is actually good news. It's actually something that you're very excited about. Or you're traveling to go see somebody. Maybe somebody that you've been separated from for a while and that's why life stings. You didn't want to move away from this person. There's somebody that you want to, you, there's somebody that you want to go back to. A place where you feel home or you could be traveling back home. It is the holidays. You could be traveling home for the holidays. Whichever it is, it seems like it's warmer. It's a warmer place. Or it just warms your heart. It's a place that warms your heart. And even though maybe, just maybe, you know that something is about to be huge for you, a big breakthrough is happening and you already know it, you want to enjoy this beautiful energy of finally, you don't have to wonder if life is going to be okay. You actually know that life is going to be okay now. And so because of that, you can actually enjoy this moment completely without the pain, without the suffering. You can go home, you can go back home, you can be around family, you can travel wherever you're going to travel. I feel like you're going to travel to somebody, like you're traveling to work, um, to, to not work, I'm sorry, to be with somebody that you love, whether that be your family or whether that be a lover. You're, you've gotten an opportunity to travel somewhere. And I do believe it's south because isn't that where monarchs fly? They only let live a year and they fly south. Somewhere in South America, I thought, they all congregate to mate. But there is this sense of this sort of tropical, tropical weather. Sweet results await in your future wherever you're headed. Sweet times. Maybe Sagittarius. Maybe you're meeting a Sagittarius. Or a Leo. This is just feeling good about yourself because this is very Leo energy. It's the sunshine. But it's also reaping the benefits, reaping the rewards, the sweetness of life coming to you. You also have what? Now is a lucky time and you also have, but I think that you're holding back the luck. Intentionally, because it's yours. And you just don't want to rush this moment. You want to slow it down. You are intentionally slowing things down. And there's a sense of the miracles are endless. There's a lot of abundance in your life. Be certain there's a lot of abundance in your life, but you worked very hard for it. And you sacrificed a lot for it. And I think that there was a lot of disappointment and hardship that you had to get through before this came to you. Because bees don't just find honey. They work very hard. They sacrifice their whole life to get it. So I, I got this reading for you before too. It's just that these sweet results await. And so you're just chilling. 
That's what the effect is going to have on you is the sense of liberation and freedom. Not, hey, I'm such an amazing, you know, now all of you can look looking down on other people, spending too much money. No, the, the, the greatest luxury of success for you is that you finally have freedom to be able to go where you want to go and do what you want to do and be who you want to be out loud and be accepted for it. Piscean, this is an energy of creation. So you have created something that is appreciated and recognized. And this could also be the developing relationship with some, somebody who's Sagittarius or within Sagittarius season. It's just going to be from moment to moment. And you're, you're going to be able to be in the moment instead of being stuck in the past, worried about the future. You're actually going to be able to be in this present moment right now because you know what's coming. You haven't shared it yet, though. You're holding on to it. You haven't necessarily shared this big news. I don't think it's because you're scared. I think it's because... Yeah, I think it's because you want this entire moment to wash over you. Oh, you're taking a plunge. You could be deciding to go move with somebody. And this is a Cancerian energy. Slow and steady wins the race. You've been working on this for quite some time, Piscean. This is a venture or adventure you've been working on for a long time. You know, some part of me thinks you, I think you already know this is happening. And maybe part of you, it's too good to be true. It feels too good to be true, but at the same time, logically, you know that it is true. But you have finally found the niche. You finally found the knack. You finally found the one. You finally found the one. There was a separation. If this is a relationship, there was a separation between the two of you. And it was probably because of distance. But now you're actually going to go get to go to them. Get to see them. Get to be with them. They could have been part of the problem. Because they were afraid to take the plunge or take the dive. But now, over with. They're ready. They're ready. Because they're more mature. They've stabilized. They've stabilized. But they had to get their stuff together. And it had nothing to do with you. And I feel like there was a big disappointment there. So there is that sense of like heartache. Of disappointment. Of learning how to let go. Being comfortable letting go. See what your grounding energy is. Alright, came right out. Surrender now. What did I say? This is also a Sagittarius card. Big Sagittarius energy here. It could just be Sagittarius season. You know, it's right here, right now. This is the season. This is what it's saying. You know, let me discuss this with you uh, from the different camera, camera angle. Hold on. Here you go. Crowning your energy is this new beginning. This, this, this hope. This freshness. You're not new. You're not vulnerable. You, you're ready. You're ready, but you're new. You're the hope for the future. You're the hope for the future. So in other words, it's yours. The future is yours. And there's so much fire energy here. And the fire energy is always about the future. It's about forging the future. It's about creating. It's about creating the future. And that's what you're doing. You've created your future. You're, you're the one in control of your future. You've created your future. But you... And you it's all abundance, all happiness. There's going to be so much that you have to share with other people. But you are holding it tight to yourself right now. Why? Because you want to savor this energy. Savor the sweetness of the honey. You're definitely going to share this news. But right now, you almost know that the innocence of this fortune is never going to come again. So you're holding on. You're waiting for it. You're not, you're, you're, you're waiting for it because you're certain of it. There's a definite energy of love here vibrating really, really high. You traveling to see them or having had to, them having had to transcend themselves and get over a lot of pain and struggle for them to be at a point where they were ready to be with you. Forgiving somebody. Forgiving somebody for any pain that they caused you. So that you can move on. But it also feels like they're ready to move on too. There's an energy of, I realize I was an idiot. 
because I wasn't mature. And that hurt. That put you through a lot of disappointment. I wasn't mature. I wasn't ready to move on. But now I'm ready. Now this could be you or them. But it comes at a time in your life when you definitely have this forward momentum. You're on the uprise. And maybe, just maybe, you don't want to tell anybody right now. Because if somebody loves you, you want them to love you for you, not the opportunities in front of you. Or if somebody, um, or you're just taking things one step at a time. This is nine. One plus eight is nine, right? Nine. So that is right before a whole new restart. This is that moment. I'm telling you, the crowning energy now is like, it's like, oh, it's like Christmas Eve. It's that silent night, that energy of peace, because you know a miracle is about to happen. You can feel it, and I am confirming it. Maybe we'll get some answers as to what it is going to be or who it's going to be with. I'm going to go over and do the extended reading, extended tarot reading, and the romance tarot. Hopefully, I will see you guys over there. Bye, Pisces.